When I was first picking up fighting games, the hardest part was losing. Sometimes it was frustrating, sometimes it was emotional, and sometimes it was even crushing. As I grew in the scene, I learned that losing was some of the most important parts of the journey, but that also winning wasn't some immediate ascension into better play. Winners make mistakes too. Here's what I learned as I normalized losing. Players can have perfect games. That doesn't make their play perfect. Perfect play is just someone making the right choices while someone makes the wrong ones. A single change in neutral, or a better choice in a bad situation, can be what disrupts anyone's game plan. And sometimes, we get put in an unwinnable situation, so we need to take a step back and ask, how did I end up in that situation? Keep in mind, even top players can make the same simple mistakes. MK Leo almost lost all of Frostbite 2020 because he went for a risky up smash read. T only missed the punish by 3 frames. Focus on the small wins and losses, not the big ones. Small wins and losses are at all levels of play. They range from situations like landing a combo you've been working on to not getting thrown in a situation you always get thrown in. Not only is it important to recognize where you made small victories and mistakes in a match in order to better adapt, but it's essential for higher levels of play. For example, noticing a player always goes low when recovering is the start of conditioning. After a few attempted recoveries, you might be able to bait them and catch them going low for an easy stock. Be proud of your small wins, and remember those small losses. Sometimes you literally lack perspective. I used to frequently say, I couldn't do anything after I lost a match, but we tend to forget we aren't all knowing. There's this dope rock garden in Kyoto where no matter where you sit to look at it, you can't see all the rocks in the garden. So sometimes you need to literally get up and see it from another angle. Sonic is camping you? Sure, maybe it's hard as hell to fight, but go talk to some Sonic players and work through it. Do you know how easy it is to hit him out of his moves? Did you know almost the whole cast can punish homing attack on block? If you don't have all the information, you're only holding your abilities back. It's our job as players to do the research and further develop the metagame. Where you break is where you need the most work. In the production of phones and other electronics, companies come up with crazy ideas, like phones made entirely out of glass. So in order to make this all glass phone, they need to drop test, smash test, and whatever it takes to know where their product breaks. When you know where the product breaks are, it's easier to find the answers to your problems. So instead of telling myself that I sucked at the game, I started saying what I sucked at, like, I can't fight this rushdown yet, or I don't know how to hit this character out of their moves yet. Even if you need to let the frustration side of things out, still give it a subject. I suck in this matchup so much. Suddenly your proverbial prototype phone has breakpoints. You can find the answers with that kind of information. In competition, under stress, our plans break, our combos drop, we miss techs, and we get absolutely bodied for our habits. But that is where we forge our best counterplays and our dopest moments. Which leads me to my final point. <laughs> Fighting games are about the journey. And you can have dreams and goals on this journey. But if you don't make it about the journey, you will get lost on the way. It's the late night grind sessions with friends, it's the lab work and the DMs, the moments where you learned something that changed everything about how you play, and that time you beat an opponent you figured you had no chance against. Fighting games in all of competitive gaming are special because they push us to better ourselves. It's both our W's and our L's big and small, that make the memories and the moments. Evo Moment 37 I showed earlier wasn't made overnight. It's a culmination of player talents. And trust me, while Justin Wong got bodied in this clip, it's not like he didn't get better for it and show us just how resilient he could be too. We just got a real mix! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Justin Wong! Let's stop shaming ourselves. Let's remember that people learn, that it's a natural process. Let's normalize losing. So go get bodied.
Let's become legends at our craft.